I'm a dumb bird. Damn it. Well, at least I noticed only two minutes in. Okay, so it seems like, if you haven't been reading along, I'm doing the... Okay. I'm doing the, uh, podcast type side, I guess. It's like the, the a radio show. That's what it is called. Uh, it seems like it's questions answered by the author of the game, which seems pretty cool. Some of it's world building. Um, so far, the only relevant information I've gotten is uh, doves have shorter lifespans than human, but birds' lifespans are increased unless it's like a larger parrot that lives closer to like 80 years is what I'm assuming. So cool, 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 cool stuff. Maybe next time I'll remember to keep my mic on. <laughs> On that, I don't remember where I am in the game. I'm pretty sure I just get to play the next chapter because it seems like it was divided by chapters the first time I played. So I was going to do this and then I'm going to go and play a chapter. I was told to answer anything for Hi Hiyoko as best I could. Um, Hiyoko's really something. She's been wild and rugged ever since... Oh! Hey! Thanks! My beautiful wifey! My audio works now and I can hear it! She's been wild and rugged ever since we were very young. I've always admired her, too. She never really complains. I'm not sure I know of anything that's really given her trouble. One thing I can think of that would be the uh, time her den got hijacked. Oh, once her house got invaded by a bunch of jackals when she was at school. <laughs> it looked really tough. As long as there are living creatures, there will always be turf wars. Jesus. She said the fight with the boss jackal lent an entirely new meaning to the phrase domestic violence, so maybe that's a good example of a quarry which gave her trouble as well. Then again, in the end, they, recon uh, they reconciled and she was welcomed into the jackal tribe as a brother, so maybe it was more like a pair of uh, Yankees having a sunset fi uh, fist fight on the riverbank th than a hunter, -gather hunter and her prey. Lord, can I read? The next letter is addressed to Nageki from one hotful Churis. Churis? What do you wish for on Tanabata? I always felt sad not seeing your card. I think we should have him answer this himself. Nageki, Nageki, are you here? What? How good, I was worried I'd have to call you. <laughs> call on the announcer. Is that microphone on? Yep, we're on the air right now. Just fucking call me. <laughs> Wait, don't leave! No, I don't want to be recorded. <laughs> Just answer one question, please. Fine. But once I've answered, I'm leaving. Thank you. This letter is asking if you make wishes on Tanabata. I'd like to know what you wish for, too. I don't. Wishes are just superstitious children. Damn, Nageki. Dr. Iwamin always makes one. Oh. Did you make them when you were younger? Yes. What sort of things did you wish for back then? Nothing. Nothing special. Things like I hope my family stays happy. Oh, harmless things like that. I'm always hoping for the same thing. I know how it is. Are we done? I'm leaving. Oh yeah, sorry for holding you up. See you. Right. <laughs> no! He really cares about his family. I wonder what they're like. They must also they must all be quiet, calm birds like him. The next one is for San. <gasps> yes, my boy. 
It isn't signed. It's a little long, but I'll try to read it in one go. Akasa, 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 Akasa! <laughs> okay, this is this is me writing questions to people. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> We got a bird sniffer! Bird sniffer warning incoming! I want to because it's pure white. Oh my god! They exist! They exist on the internet! This game is so old and they still exist! The bird sniffers exist! For people who don't know, birds do have a smell. They have a very specific smell. There's like Facebook groups called Parrot Sniffers, and it's like literally you just smell your parrot and post about it. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know this information. God. <laughs> Wait, no, not hip hip, mofu mofu. <laughs> First full cost sounds so cute. Ah! <laughs> Why is this a Twitter post? <laughs> Jesus. Okasa's voice is decided. Yay, ah, uh, cute, cute, too cute. Okasa. Ah, I'm so glad the drama CDs are going to be. Soul Wayne knows can't be. Swore screaming. The drama CDs are are not real. Wait, the games aren't real either. Okasa is not real. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Wait, are you trying to say disgusting? It's not disgusting. You've smelled the bird smell. You've sniffed the birds. You you did the bird sniffing with cashew. Don't fucking lie to me. Oh god. <laughs> this person is really into role play with some Okasan. I'm quitting. I'm quitting reality. Wait, he's looking at me. Okasan, in my monitor, is looking at me. <laughs> He's like, he be, he's like, uh, I feel like this is someone that just discovered VTubing and someone's managed to become a VTuber for like a white dove. A costume on the blog is looking at me, he's talking to me in the game. Think putty, I'm glad I'm still here. Good fucking lord, how long is this? I have a on, I did it, I did it, Luis. Could that be done alone? I have a CD drama Okasan. More gibberish. Uh, more screaming. Ryuta, Sakia, Yuya. More screaming. Deliver my love to us, Akasa. Deliver it to him and say pigeon nature. I feel like I'm just gonna suffocate reading that. Yeah, 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 same. It has been delivered! <laughs> Baba! <laughs> Your love has been delivered! Would you accompany Okasa on our journey? True pudding awaits! <laughs> I think he understands, that's good. On that note, the last letter here is for Sean as well, from one Ori. I love Okasan so much and my heart is turning into a Hato heart. Is it is it easy to keep doves at home? I want an Okasan all of all, oh, all of my own to stroke gently around. <laughs> my goal is to have him ride on my shoulder. It's legal in the US! <laughs> you can say that I know it isn't a casual decision, but do you think I could do that? No one around here has kept doves for some decades. The pet shop does not sell them either. Where did Okasan come from? Is it a mystery? Would you terribly mind telling me? You know? Technically, in the city I live in, they count uh, pigeons and doves as livestock. Fun fact, with the USPS, you can ship young livestock in the mail. You can send baby chickens, live baby chickens, in the mail. You can also do it with quail, turkey, and I'm pretty sure since, uh, I'm, again, this is just for my city because I've only looked at the rules here, since pigeons and doves can be considered livestock, you could probably ship chicks in the mail. And so you could order from out of town and have it shipped to you if it's not at the pet store. Fun theories. 
<laughs> now I want to try it. Game stop giving me ideas for buying more birds. Yes, thank you. Thank you, bird. I know, you understand me completely. <laughs> Where did Rokasan come from? Is it a mystery? Would you uh, terribly mind telling me? Um, I think I would start by talking about San's actor. This will get a bit meta. San is model off a dove named Okasan kept by the creator. The creator does have. Of course, his portrait is a picture of the bird himself. In reality, he isn't interested in pudding at all. <laughs> Please don't try to feed a dove pudding. Good tips, good tips. Doves aren't particularly hard to care for. Anyone who's kept a budgie or a sparrow or anything should find it pretty easy. A racing bird would be a little more difficult, but for a fantail or the likely fairly small cage is fine. A rabbit cage works very well. Very true. Um, uh, rabbit cage works better for doves and pigeons because they don't like to fly around too much. They're pretty much on the ground. And a rabbit's cage is a very long, flat cage compared to a bird cage, which is normally vertical. Um, however, do uh, doves aren't very common pets, so there aren't many veterinarians who know how to treat them. Uh, look for avian specialty vets or even uh, livestock vets that have worked on something similar to chickens. That would probably be a better bet than like somebody who's only worked on dogs and cats. Uh, doves are usually very healthy and rarely get sick, but you might want to make sure there's a clinic nearby which uh, will receive them just in case. They're not common, but in general, uh, in general, pet stores, but there's usually a, sec a section for doves in places that specialize in birds. Have a look around. Good luck, Miss Ori. I hope you can have a wonderful birdie life. That's all for today. Thank you for sending us letters. That's a cute section. I like that. Oh, this looks like on hell. The Holy Crusade to which brave warriors flock twice a year. The Crimson Angel of Judicia descends upon the sacred ground. What will he find there? The Laurel Crown of Glory or the Thorn Circlet of Despair? What will the Fallen Angel find through the guidance of the Golden Apostle? And please enter your name. I'm gonna go with Peanut. Guy that I selected again. Borb. Borb Peanut, okay? Absolutely. Again, I've lost again. Why? Why is the beauty of my craft not recognized? Why? His research holds no beauty. Mere reason isn't enough. All that is meaningless without the sense of an artistic soul. So then why? Why does this happen? No, if I remain here, my genius will not only rot, I cannot allow such a loss to the world. I'm done here. I shall find a place where I am valued for what I am. I shall not return here. This affront will not be forgotten. I will have my revenge, one day. Consider it punishment for your lack of imagination. Remember, then, my name. Unlike you, I have pride in the name I carry. You will not find me using some ridiculous alias. I am... Tori? I, I'm guessing that's... Tori? Tori. Well, I know Tori without an H is a bird, so I'm gonna say Tori. Oh god. Nishikiki Kor... <laughs> Gonna call him Kiki. <laughs> no. Nishiki Koji Tori. Ah, my hands are too cold to move. This is my last day in the library for the year. Once I've put away the returned books and written down a list of the additions, I should be done. But what is this? What is with this library? Why can't a big name school at least shell out some decent heating? If you have the energy to be shouting the bookshelves, you should try writing a petition. Oh, sorry. Was I bothering you? Yes. I can't read with you making so much noise next to me. I'm a glitz. Nothing goes into my head. Please forgive uh, my dreadful sin. Bad language is not supposed to have effects in the spiritual world. The cold doesn't bother you, Nageki. It doesn't. I feel fine. See, having plumage. <clears throat> How do you pull them really make a difference? <clears throat> Maybe they don't bother with heating because all the birds are fine. I don't think that's the case. So birds are cold in here too then. Well, there's one freezing to death right over there. Oh no! What? I fell into Geki's gaze and see a familiar looking bleeding heart dove freezing to death on the floor. Adhel! Are you alive? Speak to me, Adhel! Uh, 
Is that you, Elder Blue? Ugh. Where is this? Have I fallen once more into the eternal prison of ice? No, look around yourself. It's an un just an unreasonably cold library. Do you mean to keep my fallen wings in this world, Elder Blue? If you are to walk, <laughs> if you are to walk with me in the bloodstained path of conquest, I, I don't care about that. Why are you on the verge of death here? The day of judgment draws near. Speak of Ragnarok, Elder Blue. He's incomprehensible as always. The dusk he was sitting at covered in sheets of paper. Oh, are you drawing manga? The great pro the prognostications of the future. An epic of heroes long dead. Must complete them and bring them to the battlefield of gods. It is a lonely, lonely battle. Let's see. He's in the manga club, so maybe it's working on a club scene? Even though the festival was ages ago, how admirable. You can do it on hell. I'm sure you'll make it on time. But it's cold in here. Why don't you go uh, don't you think you should go home and work on it there? Do you worry for my flesh? Very well. Perhaps now is the time for responses, you say. Very well, the blow. Alright. We happily gathers up his papers and exits the library. He comes in here quite often. Though he would be better off working elsewhere if the cold bothers him so. He must have some reason. Maybe the atmosphere in here gets into um, gets him into the perfect mindset for the story he's telling. But bleeding heart doves are from the Philippines, so they don't fare well in the cold. He shouldn't push himself too hard. Later that ev evening. Ha! Ah, I'm going dumb! I should have brought that blanket robe I had my on when I was in town today. The price will make the my purse weep, but this cold makes me weep more. Huh? Someone texted me? Um, it's Ryota. Meet me in town. I wonder what's going on. Doesn't matter. My body is rapidly approaching its crystallization point. So I'll head into town and avail myself of this weeping blank uh, of this of this wearable blanket on my way to meet Ryuta. La 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 la. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh no, I just got here. Um, Peanut, I know it's cold, but are you sure you want to walk around in public looking like that? Huh? But it's a wearable blanket. Wouldn't it be more strange not to wear it? Well, I guess that's true. You're okay with it. Anyway, you want to talk to me? Oh yes. I wanted to ask you a favor. You hardly ever ask for my help. I'll do whatever it is with a flash and pizzazz, so what is it? Do you have plans for the end of the year? Not really. I finished cleaning and everything. Even New Year's Eve? I was planning to laze around all day, like always. Would you maybe be willing to be a sales girl for a day? There's no pay, but... A volunteer sales girl? Is that at the flea market or something? That's not far off. Do you know about Comiquette? Comiquette? How should I explain it? It's like a flea market, but not. Because a lot of birds get together to buy and sell manga they've drawn with their friends. So, sort of like the manga club booth at the festival. Yeah, something like that. Just on a much larger scale. I was wondering if you could run a booth for me. Would you like to? Sure. It sounds like fun. Did you draw something for you to? No, no, I'm just another sales girl. What does that mean? So one of your friends asks you to find someone. Yeah, on hell. What? Oh, so that monkey was pouring his lifeblood into in the libraries for the comic cat thing. But why are you asking me? He never mentioned it to me. I've been a sales girl for the group for the past three years and somehow on hell found out. So. So? Textorus Mel <laughs> Melodonna Furnace. The battle of gods, the judgment draws near. My soul got, uh, has not the strength left to continue on alone. Become my light. Oh, okay. He asked me to help him. That means I'll be lonely on my own, so come with me? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. But I'm already helping someone. I can't be in two places at once. So you're asking me? Yep. What do you say? Want to? Of course. It would be a good learning experience. A learning experience? Well, you certainly see things you wouldn't anywhere else. It is Ragnarok, after all. I think any name on Hell comes up with is going to be confusing, but does it look like a battle to end the battle of all times? I need a weapon, right? Just tell me what to bring. Will I want something to with range, or will it be up close? Don't take it li that literally. I just mean there can be a lot of really impatient birds with no social skills. It can be confusing at first, but you should probably do some research ahead of time. 
You can search around and find plenty of guides for first timers. Comic Cat lasts three days, and I think Unhell is on the third day. Last day is always the worst, so make sure you're ready. Okay, I'll study hard. Sales girl at Comic Cat. I have no idea what this will entail, but from what Ryuta said, it may as well be hell on this earth. <laughs> My blood thirsts for combat. Time to go home and scour the internet for Comic Cat tutorials. They're so cute! Look at the babies! Today is the 31st. I'm up at dawn so that I may meet in the lonely, I mean, the brave on hell who throws himself into the fray of the Holy War. Got a lot of pigeons. What a crowd! Everybody here is going to Comic Cat? Correct, El de Blau. Oh, on hell! See you, El de Blau, the holy land of the chosen, the abyss of madness. Tokyo, big sight. So, that's the big site. It's even more bizarre building than my in investigations had led me to believe. Let's go inside on hell. It's cold out here. Be not in haste, Elder Blau. The first time the time has not yet come. Wait for the nightmare sage who shall guide us. Who? Where? Does he have a second helper? Good morning, chilly out, isn't it? Mr. Nanaki? We have awaited you sage of nightmares. Why are you here, sir? The manga club's advisor asked me to look after Kagure. So, you're standing in? I suppose he's busy with winter cleaning and everything. No, no. The advisor is here, too. He's here, but he wants you to help with on he uh, to be on Hell's chaperone. Yes, that's right. Apparently, he's busy. He said he's helping at a company booth. Company booth? I feel like the internet said those can be up uh, end up swamped from the start of the convention until closing time. Each bird must do battle with himself in this holy land. I do not blame him. How mature of you. <laughs> it looks like I'll be selling on Hell's Manga with a Mr. Nanaki all day. Better do my best. It was pretty crowded outside, but if anything, it's worse in here. I'm a little worried that some birdie's tender-footed wing, wing might be, get broken with any this many birds crowded together. What kind of manga do you draw on Hell? The Tales of the Dark Angel. Oh, it's cool. The Forbidden Epic Saga. Oh, sounds pretty goth. Hmm, yes. It's very nice, very like you. <laughs> His appearance is like, uh huh, uh huh. I don't understand a word you just fucking said. <laughs> I studied a lot to prepare for today. I'll show these mm, idol idolaters. My super sales go to moves. Let us ride to battle side by side, Old Blow, as dictated by the contract of old. Um. What should I do? Time is passing worryingly by. The epic poem of the Dark Angel is stacked to the table exactly who placed it when we set up. Um, and hell? Should I maybe use my voice a little? Like, do they do in markets? It's as well, Old Blow. Needless effort will only raise more barriers before us. Oh, okay. It's rather chilly in here. Why don't I get us something warm? Oh, yes, please. What kind of expression should I have right now? I see a bird floats by on clicking feet. The far wall is lined with enormous cues. And those must be for the big circles. Some of them have even started packing up. Have they sold out already? Already. Just how many books were in those stacked up boxes? It's like looking into another world. Who uh, Pretty, pretty core. You know, pretty core too. Yes, I do. Hato catch pretty core. Is the one on Sunday mornings, right? Ah, you're so cute. Hey, can you do that thing? The signature line? Uh, it's embarrassing. Just one. I want to see it just once. Um, okay. Single flower blooming in the asphalt road. Core gray. Yeah! It's so cute! Just like the anime. Yeah, I'm just wearing it because I was helping out today. Do you sell girls cosplay? Sometimes. Not everybody does, but they always tell me to make sure I come in costume. Circle on with just sold out. We're cleaning up now, so I'll do better uh, to go back and help. Good luck, Peanut. Okay, bye. 
Corcoré Ryuta strides gallantly off with some sails, slips, and duct tape. Ah, the aura of an old veteran hangs in a, about his shoulders. I've never seen Ryuta looking so competent. It's almost closing time. And Hell remained silent, looking mildly tortured. I didn't realize sales girls were supposed to cosplay on Hell. Next time I'll pour my tribal blood into a costume. Do not blame yourself, Hell to Blow. This sin is mine alone. Don't say that. You did your best on Hell. An, unbear an unerasable sin. I, come I am carved with my black past. That is my punishment. He's uh, the unescapable cross I must. Excuse me, which of you is representing the circle? Oh, hello, pretty bird. A rather gaudy upholstered bird appears before us. Wow, colorful. He's a golden pheasant. A phantasm like the doctor and myself, you know. I never thought something with such an extreme plumage was related to them. I am sovereign of this domain, and you are? Ah, it's you? I thought as much. You're bearing your countenance so artistic. I feel your aura, so unlike any other here. It certainly is unlike any other's, yes. Forgive me, I haven't introduced myself. Mr. <laughs> to oh, uh, Toshiki? Bishiki Koji. Toshiki, I can't say that last name. Nishiki Koji Tori. Not, I might add, a pen name. It's been mine since hatching. I'm rather proud of it. It's a good name, yes? And the next time you get it wrong, I will make you wish you had never crawled your miserable way into this world. Oh, okay. Oh dear me, what am I saying? Please, pay it no mind. Golden Weekly. That's the new Splash Hit magazine. So you know of it. I'm flattered. I'm the editor-in-chief and I'm here looking for a new talent. I noticed you, you from far away. Ha, ah, your unpar unparalleled artistry. Your vast imagination. Yes, these are the attributes of one who will change the world. Gold Wing Messenger. How can you be the one who written of in the Crimson Tome Augur Tree? Precisely, I'm here to aid you. There is yet much talent that sleeps within you. Is it not so? A great power locked within. Yes, exactly. I'm here to tell you that I can help you wake your powers. My firm's location is shown on the back of this card. Please, come talk to me in the new year on Hell, sir. Thank you, Golden Wing Messenger. Let us enter a pact of blood. Wow, and Hell looks so happy. It's grinning. I guess he has a pretty worldly side to him, too. Imagine a world painted with your ability. Ha, ah, how I long to see it. I shall take my leave now. I pray your new year will be abundant with artistry. Well, alright then. The golden pheasant walks smartly off into the, through the crowd. What an impressive co coloration. Mr. Bishiki Koji was a very strange fellow, wasn't he? Bishiki Koji <laughs> Borb. It's a confusing name. You're so sharp, I'll cut your, your cut yourself one of these days, Mr. Nanaki. Um, then again... Mr. Naki looks on Hell up and down and then tilts his head, staring off and after the golden pheasant. I don't know very much about manga, but, um, maybe I'm worrying too much. He looks like he wants to say something but falls silent. I'm a little worried too, but I can't say anything in front of Hell like this. Didn't someone once say that a serpent speaks with a silver tongue? And Mr. Nishijoki Kuji was very suspicious. I hope he was just a normal editor here to scout talent. Hmm. And hell, none of us, uh, none of us mentioned your name to him, did we? The mysterious pheasant in the convention crowd, in the, in the convention hall crowd. Who is he really? And so they left the Holy Land on hell full of zeal. Kazuki and Peanut full of doubt. <laughs> Close it. The first day of school in autumn is always a little slow, but the first day after winter break is painful in its own special way. I don't like the winter mornings, but being with everybody is so fun, and, there, and so there's nothing really wrong with the school itself. Huh? Isn't that... Good morning, on hell. Is it you, Elder Blau? We're here on honors, of, uh, on honors student time. 
Do you go to bed early? Twilight invades, invades my crimson breast. I cannot expose my flesh to it too long. That means you go to bed early, right? When do you usually sleep? Before a blue-tinted moon leads its ghouls through the night. 10 p.m. That's early. That's really early. I'm bound to meet the golden wing messenger on this day. He wishes to gather me from the Vesporal souls. Vesporal souls? That's a new one. It would take him a while to explain if I asked, so I think I'll leave it alone. It's a golden weekly thing, right? So you're going to meet with Mr. Nishiki Kuji? Is it so? And it is so, and I shall gain new powers. Hmm, Mr. Nishiki Kuji. That mysterious golden pheasant who appeared before us on the holy battlefield of New Year's Eve. Is he really trustworthy? He seemed highly suspicious. Aren't you nervous on hell? Could I go with you? At ease, old glove. Some battles must be fought alone. As a trial, those born under the domestic scarlet eye cannot escape. Is that so? Well, if you say so, let me know if I can help you. And Hell marches triumphantly to his classroom. A bed in his bag is full of manga manuscripts. Now that I think about it, he's going to show his work to an editor. It would be a little odd for a classmate to tag along. I'm worried about Mr. Nishiki jo uh, Nishiki Koji. But it looks like he is the editor of Real Magazine. I can sit this one out. Some days later. I was thinking of eating in the cafeteria today like I always do. Wanna go together? I'd love to. Well, class, the stomach calls for food! Let us go! Let us go! Wanna come with us, Akia? Do tell me to sit at the same table as commoners. Today's when the second winter menu goes up. And this mixed bean uh, sukiyaki udon is really good. It's a superb and available only for a few weeks! You can't possibly attend St. Pigeonations and never have the uh, sukiyaki udon. It is, uh, is it truly a food of such great prestige? Yes, and who doesn't think it uh, noble when they hear sukiyaki? Noble means sukiyaki, and sukiyaki means noble. Hmm. So it is a high class dish here in Japan. I suppose if all this uh, if all is so there cannot be so much harm in trying it. Yay, let's hurry before they're out. Is sukiyaki really something aristocrats used to eat? Probably. Yum. The mixed bean sukiyaki udon here is the best. Here, let me give you some of the meat for mine. If you want it. Are you sure? If I eat all of it, I'll feel sick later. Oh right, in that case you can have some of my beans. Here. So this is sukiyaki. I wonder at the undignified flavor, but it's not bad. Kush, 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 kush. So be careful, you keep swallowing them whole like that, you'll choke. It would be kind of odd to ask for it in summer, but it is a little lonely being able to uh, only being able to eat it in January. Maybe the fact that it's seasonal makes us think it tastes better than it really does. That was good, huh? Familiar figure pe uh, appears by the tableware return area. The famous insecure Filipino b banana boy? On hell. I'm, I don't usually see you here. Oh, it's you, Elzeblau. He's usually come somewhat slow. He, he replies somewhat slowly. Are you okay? You don't seem as energetic as usual. Oh, don't tell me Mr. Nishigizuki said something nasty to you. It's okay. Don't worry, on hell. You're still in high school. If you keep working like this, like you have been, you'll be a pro in no time, and, that's, and that'll show him. Do not be anxious, Elderblau. The golden winged messenger shall guide me on the path to glory. The stars travel the path they must. He walks away, grinning happily. I'm glad things went well with Mr. Nishiki Joki, but he looks a little pale, right? Didn't he? You think so, too? I've never seen him acting that tired. Me neither. Unlike me, Ryuta is tentative and careful. If he sees, if he sees too, it can't be just my imagination. Maybe he's been staying up late working on the next issue. One week later. I'm sorry. One week later. Gotta do the stupid voice. Wow, what, a, what an oversleeping. Wow. I'm waiting for the Sunday morning program. At least I can catch the second half of Pretty Core. Pretty Core. Open my hat oh, oh. The single flower booing in the asphalt road. Core gray. 
single flower swaying in the exhaust fumes. Poor light gray. Single flower shredded. Shredded? By the BB gun rays? Poor dark brigade. Hunter patch, pretty core. So cute, so cute. It's always good once the three, the three of them are in a fight. And the transformation scenes are so pretty. That was fun. So much fun I almost forgot that today is a makeup day. I'm awake and alive now, so it's time to go to school like a good girl. Huh? A rather familiar looking bird has collapsed at the front of the stairs. I'm hell? Are you okay? Did you slip? Are you a dojiko uh, now? Ugh, how the blow? Are you alright? Did you sprain your ankle? Ha! Huh. Blood, my crimson breast, it craves blood. Be silent. Is he anemic? And hell, you're white as a sheet. Let's go to the infirmary. And hell is fainting completely by the time we arrive. He usually starts ranting about the demon spores or something if he gets too close to the infirmary, so maybe it's better that he's out for now. So I brought him here. Is the doctor gone? Yes, he's overseas for a week doing research. And I'm watching the shop while he's out. Hey, Katha! The boy seemed a little sluggish today. January's almost over at, uh, after all, and I think it's time. Uh, I think they start winding down pretty soon after Christmas. Merry Christmas! Actually, are they boys? I hadn't really wondered about their gender before. Just what are they? Hmm, could you take a look at them on that one? Or is it, isn't this just a little blood pressure? It does look that way. Which isn't to say it couldn't be dang uh, dangerous. Let's just let him rest for a while. Thank you for bringing him here, Mon ami. I'll be here when he wakes up. Thank you, Yuya. He's been going to see that magazine editor all month. He said he was going for ordeals to show by the, uh, show the way in times that must come. Deciding a pen name, but why is he so weak all of a sudden? I'm really worried. Maybe I'll talk to Mr. Nanaki about it. Hmm, that's a little worrying. I know he's busy but, uh, working on manuscripts, but I feel like it's still a little strange for him to be so weak. It was really energetic when things were hectic before the convention. I believe that he get I I can't believe he get drained so quickly. This school does encourage independence in students, but I don't like to inter and I don't like to interfere with someone who's working hard on something. But what did you think of that golden pheasant board, Mr. Mishiki Koji? Mr. Mishiki Koji, yes. He even remembers his name. Amazing. I only met him once at the snowbound battlefield. But my tribal instincts are telling me he's too dangerous to let out of sight. Yes. My quell instincts are telling me the same thing. Do you think you could go with Hiragiri next time he goes to the company board? I suggested that to Angel, but he said it was something he had to face alone. But I can't just leave it as it stands. I'll go undercover and tell him. Hmm, just like a detective movie. Let me know if anything sleeps. It's been so long. My classic. Sorry, I have a verb. I'm good now. By my title as the Apostle of the Blue Sky, Elder Blau, I shall courageously tail on hail to the Golden Weekly headquarters and conduct investigations of the most covert nature. The building is right across from here, so that there's no way I'll miss him as he's going in. Oh, there he is. On hell enters the building, a master manila envelope under his wing. Is that full of comic pages? Time to go in after him. This building is actually the secret base of an evil, an evil organization. Is what I would say if it were. However, it looks perfectly normal. There are a few birds walking around inside, but nothing suspicious. I can't imagine Mr. Nishiki, Jogi, uh, Nishiki Koji fitting into such a completely ordinary looking company, really. Never mind sore thumb. He's just stick out like a th uh, thumb that's been nearly lost in a freak machining accident. And now it's attached to the elaborate bandaging and has a last ditch effort to save it. Yep, he stands out. Hello, I'm so glad you could make it today. I've been waiting for you. Indeed, it's time for us to carve out a new creation under the auspice of the spirit of reason. Golden Wing Messenger. Yes, yes, of course. Let us engage in the creative acts fueled by the finest substances of our imagination. I've secured a special room for our meeting today as well. This way, if you please. 
The incredibly conspicuous golden pheasant and the similarly conspicuous beating heart dove disappear into, the, into a door at the end of the excessively ordinary hallway. The conversation just now didn't sound all at all suspicious, but my danger sense is tingling. After them. This is the room. Huh? There's a light above the door. It says... Operating? No. This is a publisher's office, right? Not a hospital. What? What? No one answers me. In case, on hell's in danger. Enough sneaking. It's time for actions. Loud ones. Coming through. In the very unmeaning like room where on hell. In the very unmeaning room like. Oh, Jesus. In the very unmeaning like room are on hell unconscious and. What is it now? The operation is in progress. Didn't you see the sign outside? The flashy pheasant drawing blood from him. What are you doing? You're not drawing manga at all. You're just drawing blood. We are in the midst of a grand creative act. A beautiful artwork fashioned in the in fashioned with his blood in mind. Saying creepy stuff like that while drawing somebody's lifeblood is an awful like is an awful lot like a certain fluffy heretic. Release him. Now. I'll take him by force. Oh oh my, but how gallant. How would you would you be a sweetheart then? No. We two are linked by the karma of our previous lives, the disaster of the soul. Hmm. I see your worldview is, is every bit unique as his. Birds of a feather, eh? I'd have thought your face was familiar. We might have met before, yes? So you will be taking him home then? Hmm. And if I were to say no? Think I can't do anything because I'm just a human girl, do you? Plenty of people have regretted that before you. Take this! Acrobatic star like kick! Oh my, isn't that dangerous? You knock a hole in the floor, young lady. I rather think a detection hint might leave my beautiful queen a disgraceful sin. God shit? She's in better shape than the aforementioned fluffy heretic. I have no artistry in you. I feel no artistry in you, but your physical ability holds value. It is beautiful. That's this flamboyant heretic happily praises me. Oh stop, I'll blush. Wait, no. I'm peanut of Satan Pigeonations. I will defeat you and bring my classmate back with me. Ha, huh, galleon indeed. Prepare yourself for the end, Mr. Bishiki Koji. Did you just call me Bishiki Koji? Did I? Maybe I did. Jeez, between you and Mr. Naki, a girl can't get away with a little slip of the tongue around here. And I believe this is the second time you've done so, is it not? Mr. Bishiki Koji. Wait, no, I mean Mr. Nishiki Koji's cheerful tone of voice suddenly gone, his words now barely audible. This must be what they call a calm before the storm. You're still a child, so perhaps you do not know. Do you understand what a serious offense it is to misspeak someone's name? Particularly my name. My name is special, because I am special. It is the only name of its kind. Nishiki Koji. Don't worry. This is the worst affront imaginable. Did I not tell you I would make you wish you had never crawled your miserable way into this world if you misspoke it again? A flash fills the room a flash fills the room as he shouts. What? What's happening? Whoa, the room's all messed up. What did you do that for? A good thing on hell got uh, I got on hell out of the way. Could have been vaporized. Thunder? That can't be. Some sort of laser weapon? I would rather you I would rather you did not think of it as some lowly laser beam. Nishiki Koji Masterpiece X7768 Optical Ordnance Ima Imaginal Ray is the ultimate weapon utilizing young Hirogoi's unique physical properties. Is it not beautiful? And Hell's physical properties? You must be talking about that that thing that he draws other people into his fantasies when he gets excited. Oh! There are two birds attached to the laser. Oh no! What is this? This must violate some sort of basic avian right. I suppose this, uh, this is the ray's first introduction. Very well, I shall explain. The pheasant inflates his chest and begins his lecture. He was angry up until a minute ago, but now he's talking about his creation. He seems pretty happy. This is is his personality that simple? The factor behind in Hiragane's beer will draw those around him into mass hallucinations is abundant in his blood. In other words, with his blood, anyone can have the same power. And so, 
He came to me to try intensifying an already powerful fantasy and converting it into energy for a weapon most uh, dominant. Um, why am I shivering? What people on this earth have least love for the world and live for your, their fantasies the most? Where could I find them? My, re oof, my research was long and arduous, but then I found the answer. The very best candidates were at Tokyo Big Site. That's, that's too cruel. How could you use a couple of harmless otaku as weapons to hurt others? Cruel, whatever do you mean? Inconceivable. It cannot be. How could they not rejoice at becoming part of my beautiful creation? They are like confused paint. Mm. They are like confused paints to which I have added scheme, sense, and artistry. Is it not wonderful? Dude, what the fuck? Pretty Cory Samori. Cory Light Gray Samori. Samori? Moe? Moe. That sounds like disgusting paint. Wait, I think this is the first time I've seen Otaku say Moe in real life. This weapon is useless. What good is it? To, uh, what, what good is it going to do now? We're not at war. Willie says Otaku. Useless? Oh no! It has a purpose. A very important one. I'm going to use this weapon to destroy your school. What? More specifically, what lies beneath your school, and one board and one bird there in particular. Wait, what did he do? Is this revenge for your dead parents? No, though it is revenge for me, or perhaps should I call it a settlement? So it's a personal grudge then, is that it? I don't know what's going on, but I can't stand by now that I've heard this. I'll stop you here now. I'd like to see you try. Ah, <sighs> can't get close. The pockets truly have amazing imaginations. I can see no limits to their use. I can't fight very well while carrying on hell either. I think I might have to pull out for now. Will I stop you, Mr. Shiki Koji? I will. Ah, please, do try. I hope you can come up with something by tomorrow. I've already gotten all the blood I need from Hiragure. None can stand in the path of my artistry now. And so I recovered on hell and fled from the Golden Weekly headquarters. Crazy dream, huh? It was a dream? Nope, just kidding. It remains troubling in reality. Jeez, don't confuse me like that. Hmm, it looks like this is more serious than we thought. I don't think anybody would have expected to find an operating room in a giant lesser publisher's building. Laser? Laser. In a giant laser in a publisher's building. There we go. I'm just glad you and I'm hell are okay, Peanut. Forgive me. To think my cursed blood now powers the light of dark judgment. Why would you be donating uh, blood in a publisher's anyway? Did you not notice what was happening on hell? No. My consciousness wandered into the great void. In other words, you go into a meeting, be stunned, have blood taken, and then go home feeling dazed and anemic. That's too much! How did he not notice? Mr. Nishiki Koji said I would have to come up with something by tomorrow. I think that's when he's planning to attack. At the, uh, the laser at the office blasted through the, front, uh, through the floor. It was about as powerful as my starlight kick. He probably has a more powerful version prepared if he's hoping to destroy the school. That seems likely. I tried calling the police, but they wouldn't take me seriously at all. Ah, uh, calling up and saying, Excuse me, officer, but there's a comic book editor that wants to blow up my school with a giant laser. Probably wouldn't get more than an immediate disconnection. I guess we'll have to defend the school ourselves. It looks like it. Let's have some tea and think about it. I think I'll have peach tea. I would like a melon soda. I would like pulsating blood blessed by the earth and sky. Blood orange juice. You three are awfully relaxed. Who's Mr. Nishiki Oji trying to get revenge on anyway? Since he's starting the school, it must be a student or a teacher here, but... What? Okay. Since I'm at a decent stopping place, uh, I'm gonna take a quick bait and eat, a break and eat some snackies. My, my, my brain hurts from eating. Bilby! Or, I guess I gotta hit the button.
Okay. Snackies have been consumed. A little water has been drinking. Probably drink some more water. But, um, I get this bread. So you know, and got another proposal accepted, huh? A second division sure is impressive. Naturally, we're talking about me here, after all. I feel terrible for all the biologists here having to work under an empty-headed bird like you. I can't see any reason why the biologists here would need pity from you. What's that? Who is he? One of yours? Oh, this is the first time you two have met. This is our newest friend, Issa so um, Soma. Come on, Issa. Say hello to Mr. Nishiki Goji. I am Issa. A useless leader and, and researchers who don't even know how to greet their betters. Their, yeah, their betters. The future of the biology division is in the bleakest thing I've ever seen. What are you talking about? Issa's great. He'll probably be the department head someday. I bet you two will get along just fine. Okay, bye wifey, do good. Again? My results cannot be inferior to his. This is a dream. Just a bad dream. Issa Soma. I can never climb the spotlight as long as you he is here. Oh god, I missed text. I was worried about that feral, but he was no trouble. <clears throat> Our spheres of research never overlapped. Nothing good has come of Issa's taking under the um, over the division. My beautiful, glorious second, uh, second optical weapons division. How can his name? How can its name be so trod into the ground? Issa's origins are a mystery. Something is definitely not right here. They value the um, the value they place in him must be mistaken. Only his proposals ever get accepted. My talents will rot in his shadow. His strategy reeks of deceit and intrigue. I have no wish for depravity and decay. I shall gladly leave. The next day. Today is Mr. Nishiki jo and Koji's silly destroy St. Kijimations with a giant laser day. We have to protect our school. Oh, it's Yuya. Salutations, none of me. This is Sakazaki. I'm in front of the Golden Weekly HQ. Over. Report situation. Everything as you predicted. There's a giant laser inside the building. It's installed on the roof and I think they're adjusting the aim. Take a look with a the telescope. They're preparing already? Where do you- oh. Where'd I put the telescope? Failure to act with speech in such a situation is- Here, use this. Thank you. You're always well prepared, Takia. Let's see. The building should be over. Ah! It's huge! <laughs> the tank. It appears to be charging up. What's wrong with Japan's public security forces? Why are they- And why is he able to have a weapon like that? My thoughts exactly. Given the size. I knew it. He's got even more otaku hooked up than, than the two I saw yesterday. This is too much. If he turns the fantasies and delusions of that many otaku into power for a weapon, it might just be unstoppable. We could be a little at any moment. What are the situations like this called again? Attention or die? Emergencies? Yes, those. Can't you even remember a basic e English terminology? Humans, I swear. Anyway, we need to prepare. Aren't you on defense? Leave observation to me and return to your station. Yes, sir. That's right, I have the extremely important job of def uh, defending from whenever the attack comes our way. This is a real battle. If we fail, the school burns. The blood is boiling already. Ah, poor. We were waiting for you. Hurry, we need to get ready. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah, our judgment draws near. We must disrupt the light dark judgment with our arcane waves. And hell, Reed said, Mr. Naki, I am in our own defense. Time for Operation Petty Core Shield. Pretty Core. Pretty Core Shield. Fight fire, fire with fire and hallucinogenic Filipino dove powers with hallucinogenic Filipino dove powers. And Mr. Nishiku Koji can power his weapon with on Hill's abilities. We can fight him off with those same abilities. If we try hard enough and believe in each other, on Hell's power can make us all into magical girls. Yeah, that, that's, that's the solution, magical girls. Don't, don't imagine a shield that can protect you from any possible laser. Magical girls. Yes. Ryuta is core gray. Mr. Naki is core light gray. I'm core dark gray. On Hell is the favorite who granted the pretty core girls with mighty powers. Terracot. 
four of us together, we can raise pretty core barrier to protect the school from Mr. Nishiki and Koji's nefarious plans. We're really going to save the school with a joke like this. This isn't a joke. This is pretty core. I'm not sure, Borm. Would a pretty core shout like that? I shall invoke the defensive right of the shining pretty core sh spiel defense shield. And hell's giving it his all. We just have to believe in each other, okay? Okay, we can do this. Ah, an excellent day. Hardly a cloud obscures Japan's lovely face in every corner of recess of little... Every corner and recess of Little Love City is laid bare before me. The ghosts of the past which have um, pinned me to these long years. That damnable parcher shoes always in my way. And the institution which lets my genius wither. It is time to say farewell to them all. I shall wash them clean away. And it will be the time to step into a brand new world of imagination. As the sun rises above a new... Chief Editor, sir. Should we set the deadline for this year's new face award to the end of March like last year? Oh, uh, yeah. Also, we got Takakishi Pao doing the announcement cut, so make sure you follow up with him. Got it. Thanks, sir. Where was I again? Huh. Anyway. This is not only revenge, this is a ceremony in which I must undergo to and uh, usher in my new self. Tremble, Philistines. Be awed by the artistry of my beautiful creation. I'll expect an apology in the next world, Soma. Starting, it's starting. Come on, on hell. Light of magic and hope that twists throughout this world can't uh, grant the chosen one's power to defend this land. Pretty core. Open my hat hole. Single flower booming on the asphalt road. Core gray. A single flower swaying in the exhaust fumes. Core light gray. Single flower. Oh god. Shredded by the BB gun's rage. Core dark gray. We want to become seniors here and graduate. We won't let you destroy our school. I just finished grading proficiency tests and it's a lot of work. Couldn't you at least wait until after I've returned them? Um, I don't really want to think about how I did on my proficiency test, so I guess even if the school got destroyed, it won't be all that. You must not let your heart waver, Eldeblau. Right. I'm scared about my test, but it would be worse to let our school be blown away. Mr. Nishiki Koji, your plot ends here. Pretty core barrier! <laughs> it's all like we can do it! We can save the school! <laughs> hmm. Ah, I see. You recover mar remarkably quickly. Here, uh, uh, on hell, or perhaps you remain able to manifest delusions even when weakened. But did you really think I haven't come with a backup plan? Prepare to trigger the fangirls. Something's happening, Borb. What is it? He's adding power. The second attack will come soon. Oh no. Sunderay Racing Dove who came away. Semi pink pelican moe. The first wave was just a ranging shot. I've got more than just Moe loving pigs after all. I've heard that the fantasies of fangirls surpass those of any fanboy. Watch him be destroyed. Oh god. <laughs> Hurry, we need to block it. Ah, it's too much. Core gray, dark gray. We seem to be getting squeezed. So my evil tra uh, half truly does have the power to destroy this world. We can't give up. We have to defend the school. We're the only ones who can. Everything's so sparkly. Oh no! Mary Cathbeth. Mary Cathbeth. We can't give up yet. We cannot. We have to have the pretty cores with our miracle pigeon light. You can do it, pretty cores. Don't give up. You can do it. You're yeah, pretty core! I can hear everyone cheering us on. Pretty cores are warriors of love. Their kindness makes us stronger. It's very reassuring, isn't it? Hmm. You still resist? Pitiful. Allow me to end it for you. Remove all limiters, output to maximum. The Sundry and Noble, he must be the UK. You dumb newbie, everybody knows Racing Dove EX <laughs> Racing Dove X Tree Sparrow is practical cannon. But butlers are not so hot. Black wings 
with black wing stilt slash pink, uh, uh, pink pelican is best. What is this? Why is the energy converter becoming so unstable? Ships. Ships is why. The time of judgment has come. You who use the blood of the Crimson Angel to seduce a state your greed golden winged messenger. Pure spirits of light gather and strike his golden hue, spinning pretty poor bursts. Ah! We did it! We did it on hell! We deflected the otaku laser! Look, the Golden Weekly building is practically destroyed! Yes, that abominable evil has been checked. Hmm, they probably won't be back for bi in business for a, a little while. I wasn't sure we could do it. I'm so glad the school's okay. This was my sin. I should have realized sooner that he meant to harvest my blood for evil. Forgive me. Don't worry about it, on hell. All's well that ends well. It was Mr. Nishiki Koji's fault anyway. It's wrong for an adult to go around tricking high school students like that. Try not to get tricked by any more bad grown-ups, okay? Yes, I shall carve this lesson to my Christmas chest, shade of the night, uh, the sage of nightmares. I did not account for all my, uh, for this in all my calculations. My creation was perfect. It was the materials that failed me. Those fangirls' fantasies were dreadful. No one told me that their energies would be so unharmonious. Harmonious. It would have broken down if it weren't for those fangirls. Huh. 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 Oh well. No doubt he saw, he saw the power of my artistry. That was a declaration of war. Golden Weekly Chief Editor Nishi, uh, Nishi Koji speaking. Ah, Mr. Nishiki Koji. This very childish irresponsible of you, do you understand? I want you to think about what you've done. Shut up. This isn't over yet. Well, even his closing line sounded something like a movie villain would say after his evil organization is destroyed and he has no chance of winning. When did you get him to give you this, uh, his, phone, uh, this phone number? Anyway, it looks like he'll probably retreat for now. Hopefully we won't see him again anytime soon. I guess this means your manga is back to square one on hell. But don't worry, I know you can do it. Be not afraid, Elder Blow. Star shines within my soul, not in it yet lost its luster. You always try your best. I'm sure you'll debut someday. And I'll be there when you do. Now then. Salutations, Monami. Good work. Yuya, how do things look over there? I hope no one's killed. Don't worry, the building is not uh, The building is badly damaged, but we already attracted, uh, extracted everyone who was kidnapped from the big site. We've got it from here. Good work. Thanks, Yuya. Huh, so even that mongrel can make himself useful once in a while. He has all sorts of shady connections, so he's really nice to have some have around in situations like this. Looks like everything's settled. Actually, who was Mr. Nishikikoji trying to get revenge on? Maybe I'll call him up and ask later. Achoo! Oh dear, am I letting myself catch a cold? Perhaps I should have brought an extra sweater. <laughs> Fallen Chronicles Absolute Zero. Fiend. Oh, we got the Ryuta in the maid outfit. I didn't see this. Hello? You have a human form? Fabulous. Just kidding. It almost looks like something out of like Princess Jellyfish though. With their cool outfits. Just like, you know, birds themed instead of jellyfish themed. <gasps> How did I miss one? No! What is this? How did I miss it? Does that mean I'm gonna have to go back? Oh wait, what's these? Oh! This is so cute! I love this before. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Oh, does it not? Okay. I tried. Let's see. I'll do another one of these and I'll probably end the stream. So for like an hour and a half. The How and Why of St. Pigeonation's question box. Hello everybody, this is Kuari Ryuta from class 2-3. It's time for the second round of Question Corner. Independent programs like this don't have to worry about viewer numbers, so we can take it easy. It's very relaxing. Aren't you feeling relaxed? Anyway, this episode will, most be, uh, will be mostly spoiler-free as well. Spoilers for the BBL will probably start showing up in the second half, I think. At any rate, ev everyone who can listen to this without worrying. Let's start looking at the letters. 
This time, there are three for me. First off, one from an anonymous individual. You look very good in girls' clothes, but how do you feel about cross-dressing? Is, uh, is getting paid just an excuse? How do I feel? I'm not sure. I only have a cross-dress at work, after all. It'd be sort of like I worked at a convenience store and put on some sort of emotional weight into the act of wearing an apron or something. It would be very strange. As for it being an excuse, well, that seems odd too. It's just a normal part of life to me. On to the second letter. This one is from... Ariko? Ariko. I want to have Cooleen by my personal maid. My personal maid. There's a time limit, but you can ask me for any time if you're at the cafe. I'll be waiting. And now the third from Coolin Sexual. I wonder if that's the person who comes by every Friday. Cooleen, you're always so cute. What kind of clothes do you like? Can you tell me? You can tell me, right? I like to see you in more than a maid and Miko clothes, too. Like maybe a sailor uniform? Haha. <laughs> uh, no. Come again soon, master. I don't usually do this outside of the cafe, but I had to, I had them get me a sailor uniform for this, so I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I tried making bento. Will you eat the eat with me? This is the first time I've worn a sailor uniform actually. It's a little drafty for me this time of year. The next one is for Dr. Iwamine. Iwamine. Oh, God, I suck at his name. Let's see if I can get him in here. What is it? Another stomach ache? Was last time's dose not enough? I do have something a little more powerful. With a 42% chance of painful death as a side effect, that is. What? That's too much of a mortality rate. I'm not in enough of a hurry to pay, um, rush, play Russian roulette, you know? And don't go changing the background music like that. This is the question corner, Doctor. There's a letter for you and me. May I read it to you? What foolishness is. Very well. We shall discuss the compensation later, of course. I probably don't want to know what you'll ask for, but thank you. It's from someone named Yuya, and this was sent on December 6th. Ryusu's birthday is the 3rd, right? Happy birthday. And the doctor's is the 12th, so happy birthday to him, too. Thank you, Yuya. This person seems quite well informed. Ooh, excuse me. May I ask you a favor? My birthday is the 17th. Could you uh, celebrate for me? Just one congratulation from you would be better than Christmas and New Year's cards combined. Another December child. Happy birthday, Yuya. You should say something too, Doctor. Why? It's merely another year in their life. What reason is there to celebrate? Ah. Not that I expected much from you anyway. Sorry, Yuya. I'll congratulate, I'll congratulate you for the Doctor as well. Happy birthday! Happy Christmas! I feel like something else just got slipped in there. Anyway, happy birthday. I hope you have a good year. If perhaps you have a change of heart and decide that you would like to have your limbs and organs replaced, let me know. Well, <laughs> okay, doctor. Don't even joke about that sort of thing, doctor. Um, seeing as the doctor is here, I'll read a few more of these. One more is a question for the doctor from Just Pudding. Do you have a succum alarm in the infirmary? Do you, doctor? What is that? No, I do not have the habit of relying on such establishments. I simply do not leave anything in there which would be troubling to have stolen. He was Golgard. Easy and safe. Um, I think not, Mr. Golgard. The doctor doesn't seem interested. And that's where I hide. Pardon me, then. Please do call if you change your mind. And he left his business card even though he didn't. we didn't ask for it. I don't have any use for it. What about you, doctor? Likewise. Yeah, really? Time for the last one. This is uh, this is this is from one helplessly in love. I'm helplessly in love with round, adorable chukar partridges. Oh, okay. Do you all chukars have the doctor's sus suspiciously fluffy face? What do you think, doctor? Foolish question. I was visiting a town for the first time. The first man I met had a round face. Does anyone in that town? Ha does everyone in that town have a round face? Or something like that. It's from someone outside school, so maybe you can answer in less aggressively. Aggressive. Whatever do you mean? I believe I answered a clear and concise fashion. There is no species of birds without individual differences. Hmm. This is hard. I suppose the doctor is right. There are di there are differences between individuals. Maybe the best way to see 
uh, to see it would be a go around the Avian Zoo in Kakagawa? Or Kobe. Kakagawa sounds right. Chukar Partridge's eyes aren't completely around, so they do look a little bit lethargic or maybe suspicious. Also, when they hold their heads out, their necks are surprisingly thin. They can look very vulnerable and when they're taking dust baths too. Oh, I take dust baths. Do you take dust baths, doctor? What a quaint suggestion. Dust bathing is a behavior which uh, arouses a way of removing parasites from the body. Our lifestyles have progressed such that we no longer come into contact with parasites and it's no longer needed. You must do it every uh, once in a while then. A defenseless dust bathing doctor you will mean. Fascinating idea, if only because of how hard it is to imagine. I think I'd like to see it. Curiosity killed the cat. Yes, yes, I know. Is that enough? I believe the material from last night's experiment will be ready soon, and I would very much like to go home. We're done. I'm sorry for holding you up. Thank you. Why is everybody so uncooperative? I hope we can have someone who will play along next time. Then again, there are so many letters for the doctor. I'll have to bring him back at some point. Maybe next time I should get him to present something to butter him up beforehand. That's all, folks. Thank you all for the yeah. letters. Alright, well, that didn't quite get me to an hour and a half. But, you know, that's fine. I guess I only have four chapters, huh? I'm so upset! What am I missing? <laughs> it makes me sad. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Another one, okay, so sometime in between when we got the thing from uh, Peasant Boy and when we were watching uh, Pretty Core at home, there was another one. Or they're just out of order. I would go back and try it, but I feel like it's a waste of time and I'll I'll just look something up and see if I miss something, and if that's the case, I'll play it next time. But until then, have a good night, day, wherever you are. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>